I'm Nathan from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a detailed look at the Air Cable Kit 2, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Head on over to packhacker.com for the full written review. Link is in the description below. Let's dive in. So we will start off looking at the materials on this thing. And in typical air fashion, they've got this 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon on the side. And you know we've seen this in their air travel pack. It's almost probably a little bit overkill for a little cable kit, um, but we like it. It gives that air aesthetic. Um, does add a little bit of bulk um, to the pack and certainly a little bit of weight. Um, but if you like air, then you're probably gonna like this material. Um, then on the front, kind of similar to most of their work collection, we've got this 840D nylon with a durable weather resistant, um, as they put it, carbonate polyurethane coating on the front here, um, which, I mean, it's weird that they make this bit weather resistant, but not kind of the other stuff. Granted, water's not just gonna seep through, it's, it's relatively weather resistant, this, this pack here, but it's weird that they've just put it on the front. I think that's probably more of an aesthetic thing. Um, as are, you know, the buckles. Um, it's, it looks pretty air. It does, when, when you take these air products that are bigger and you kind of make them smaller but use the same materials, it does add bulk, um, which I'm personally not a huge fan of, um, but most people, um, you know, who like air will be able to accept that um, because all of their stuff looks good and, and goes together. And then you've got these YKK zippers here, which are good. These zipper pulls on the side are pretty jangly um, as we've seen with other air products in the past and then um, we've got actually it's pretty much it from the kind of outside um, materials perspective we've got this little logo here with air on um, and then we've got a little top handle here kind of moving into the external components and and this top handle is actually quite nice i've used this out and about um, just when i've been in the car and I've, I've run into the gym or something or into the coffee house i've I kind of hadn't, haven't had another bag with me, just sort of got kind of some accessories in here, which I'll show you later on. This has been nice to just grab hold of and, and take in. However, I will note that it's on the other side of the zippers. So if for whatever reason you've accidentally left one of these open or something like that, you've got to grab it like that and it's just going to fall out the bottom. So I'd have preferred there to be a handle on the top where all the top of the zippers are, but they haven't done that, unfortunately. Just a little note there. Um, and preference from, from how I've used it and what I've learned um, when using this thing in the real world. So I think it's probably about time to open this thing up. We'll start with the um, top or the front, the face, and this has got a nice clamshell kind of opening here. It opens up all the way. Um, and we will start off with, obviously, left-hand side, we've got a little pen holder here, which I'll take out. Oh, that's my pen. <laughs> Um, it's not overly that hard. I think I think that's more my pen <laughs> um, there than anything else. Um, but that's been perfectly fine in just general use. And then, actually, in this little pocket here, I found it a relatively good place to pop my wallet. I've got the Bellroy little note sleeve in there, and yeah, I've actually had it in this. Obviously, no crazy quick access. You have to undo it, but I've just found it a really good size. I've had it in there. Um, and then at the top here, haven't used this one overly much, but I've got a little SD card reader in there. Um, honestly, I typically use this pocket, I think just because it's a zipper, it's like another access point. So you have to unzip this, then go in, unzip this again to something. I've usually just used the divider sleeves. Um, then on the middle here, we have got a couple of little kind of cable elastic um, bands. So I've got one there, which I've used. Don't use that an awful lot, but it is there. Um, you know, it doesn't get in the way um, when not in use. Then at the top here, I've got a little uh, British plug um, iPhone charger here, which you can see, which I'll take out. That's nice to carry around, and, and that was the cable there that goes with it. Then in these two little bits, I've got my AirPods, and then I've got my lock uh, for the gym. Um, so I'll just pop them to the side as well. Um, and because I use like, I have my AirPods for the gym, and I've got my lock, and I've had them just in this little pocket here. But yeah, this is really nice. This actually feels quite nice. Um, you know, everything in here is, is perfectly fine, kind of good organization. Now that this back one here, I haven't actually used because what I found with, with this kind of kit as a whole is if you have something really bulky in here, then you can't have 
anything too bulky in here because you know it all eats up space inside so um, because I've got something bulky in the back and I've got things in here this kind of middle compartment I can't fit a crazy amount in um, however um, be good for a spot for like a I know, maybe a phone even if you wanted to put one in here just got this nice felt lining but I haven't used it that much um, but I'll close that off and I will do this up and then in this kind of back pocket here I've got a just a little anchor uh, not anchor sorry but a, a USB-C hub I'll pop to the side just resting on top and um, it is kind of long enough to pop one in which is nice then I've just got my uh, MacBook charger which eats up a fair amount of room in this thing I've just got some hand gel it's got a nice little pocket here there is another little pocket at the back there but because I've got the big MacBook Pro charger in there I haven't been able to fit it too much in I have um, um, had a little kind of deodorant stick in this um, before and it's actually left a bit of a mark on the outside there but I think that's just because I've left a deodorant stick in it rather than anything else it would probably rub off and wash off quite easily as you can see there um, just a little note then we've got a little air tab in here with the Cordura Ballistic Fabric um, logo um, but this is a nice little compartment it does go a little flatter when you don't use it but this is also your compartment for your bigger items um, and just note that it does eat up space and then finally across the back here we've got a little compartment which I've had a face mask in I've got the track face mask there just for quick access when I've needed to use it um, but yeah I ultimately found um, this kind of cable kit to be pretty versatile I've had you know loads of tech items in here I've had everyday kind of carry items in here and it's worked pretty well I'm not an overall huge fan of it just because it is um, kind of relatively bulky for what it does there's not you know the organization is great if you can find items to work inside them but otherwise it can kind of get in the way um, and especially if you want to use all the compartments you typically can't because at one point you know one's going to be a little bit too bulky and you're not going to be able to squeeze something in to the other side of it just because it eats up all the space inside of the main compartment and I'm not overly a huge fan of this kind of material on the front here and overall the 1680D and ballistic nylon I think is just a little bulky for a cable kit. Um, some people really like this thing um, it's a little bit of a miss for me but ultimately <laughs> over the last two weeks it's actually proven to be a, a pretty reliable tech kit and kind of everyday carry um, kit so definitely um, a good product but for me personally um, I'm not the biggest fan but you know there are going to be plenty of people out here that you know this kit works really well for um, and yeah kind of durability wise as I said well the one benefit of having these kind of overkill features on is that it's a crazy durable um, tech kit because it's got all this stuff going on um, and then um, craftsmanship something pretty solid as, as commonly seen in in air stuff and there we have it that is the air cable kit 2 check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support our channel at no additional cost to you link in the description below we'll see you in the next one